Welcome back, Fractured Compass fans. I'm Bree. I'm Mike. And today, we're going to keep talking about Not Scary Farm, because mm -hmm. it's Not Scary Farm. And we have another announcement, not announcement, but more of a reveal of what that scare zone that we were talking about in the last video is. That's right. So let's kind of deconstruct the trailer that was uh, shown to us, and uh, we were right though. Let's just acknowledge, well, you were right. Well, we had this, the, the time and the place, kind of like the setting and the year, um, but we're the Goring 20s, baby! Goring 20s! <laughs> I love it, I love that theme, I love the play on words of the Roaring 20s, so let's check out the trailer right now. In this trailer, mm -hmm. um, and I did some snapshot, Snapchats, Snapchats. <laughs> I did some some screenshots of the picture on the bottle. I wanted to see it, and we have this green elixir that is being poured out. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Is it is it like an absinthe? Is it just the elixir that they decided to make green? Yeah, is it like just like some made up drink that is possessing people by the devil? Like there's so many theories that we can spout out, but um, from what we saw in this trailer, people are drinking this green drink and we're specifically seeing the green drink being drunken. <laughs> And we also got a sign that's like, we're saying like, stop drinking this drink. It's called the Devil's Elixir. The Devil's Elixir. So does the Devil's Elixir mean that it is alluding to alcohol in general, or is it only alluding to this specific brand of alcohol? Because if you look closely, and I'm sure you'll put up a Snapchat. I shall. Snapchat. Snapchat. We're just Snapchats people, get on it. We can't speak today. <laughs> um, you know, we do see the Devil on the bottle. Yes, it was, and I had to take I had to take a screenshot of that um, because I wanted to see what or who was on the label of this bottle, and it is definitely a devil character. Yeah, so I mean, there could be a lot of good metaphors behind this, like you know, what does alcohol do to a person, um, or we could hit it more on the nose and just be like, yes, this drink is making people do bad things. Either way, gore is going to be happening. We saw yes. that there was lots of murder. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, you know what I'm most excited murder. for? I'm uh, just going to talk like this because it's the Goring 20s. Uh, pass me some of that giga water. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I think I'm most excited for is the costumes for the scare zone. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, if you've got 1920s fashion, I'll try to put up some of the pictures of 1920s fashion right here. Flapper girls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we, what, but what is Not Scary Farm going to take that to? So, mm -hmm. uh, it should be, it should be very, very interesting. My goodness. I know. It's, it's, it's exciting. What do you think is going on in this trailer? Like, let's pick Bree's mind because this is, this is the special thing right this, here. This, this is just a maze. What do you, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I like to know like what your thoughts are, because um, maybe you can dig a little deeper into what that trailer was. Honestly, I'm I'm trying to take it for face value, but if if I were to pick it apart, I mean, I think we're gonna have, or I think we're gonna see characters possibly uh, picketing maybe still, unless mm -hmm. they're dead, you know, because obviously that sign went from perfectly fine to covered in blood. Yes. Um, but the cool, cool thing, and that they put on their Instagram, is that you're gonna be able to tell the bouncer, or it said, tell the bouncer a secret word. Kinda like how Halloween Horror in. Nights does. Yeah, so, that is something that I am interested in, because I'm like, okay, Halloween Horror Nights, you get on their Twitter, they tweet out a secret word for the night on a certain maze, and you're supposed to tell a character of that maze um, that secret word, and you'll be able to get something while supplies last. Yeah. So, are they going to have, like, do you tell a ba the bouncer, because it's the bouncer, um, what the secret word is and you like get something like a postcard nothing crazy but i'm just using like a postcard or do you get to gain access to uh, somewhere you know if you were to gain access to another area that would feel very dark harbor to me because there were some parts where if you had a, a token mm -hmm. and you were like during the maze in dark harbor if you had a token you could go into a special part of the ship yeah. And uh, something that really strikes to mind is the, uh, was it the Fathom Deep? No. Yeah, it was Fathom, it was uh, Fathom, well, it was 13 Fathoms. 13 Fathoms, there 13 you go. 13 Fathoms, and you basically had to have the token, but you also had to find the entrance mm -hmm. to this to this area. And we, how many times did we go through dark that <laughs> maze? Probably like three times? Because I remember you pulled a curtain back and you were like, I don't think this is it. And then we pulled back. But it was. But do you remember? But as soon as I it. left that maze, I said, you know what, actually? I think that was it. Yeah. So then we, we went around again, and I opened up the curtain, and I'm like, hello? And the guy right there, he was like standing here, was like, do you have a token? I'm all, it's it. Okay. All right. Yeah. And it was, it's literally, the only scary thing about that, I mean, like, going into a certain area of knots, you're like, I'm just going to go, I'm going to be fine going to a certain area in Dark Harbor that you're not supposed to go to on a ship that's like basically a ghost ship is a whole different experience because yep. you're like do do I do I go here do I not <laughs> is oh my, this am restricted I just, access am, yeah <laughs> am I just going to drop off into my doom <laughs> like <laughs> on this ship so I don't know. It would be really cool, and it was a very, very popular thing at Dark Harbor to have these secret lounges mm -hmm. inside the mazes or in certain areas. So, is that something that we're going to see at Knott's now? Who knows, but would this be the first time they implemented something like that at Knott's? I think there has been lounges before, back in the early 2000s, but it wasn't, it was just kind of a, an area that was like there was I think there was an area in Fiesta. Oh really? That you could go into and it what but it wasn't like themed or anything. I mean it was Fiesta kind of, but you could get drinks, you could mm. get different kinds of things and like glow stuff and whatnot. Um, but it wasn't anything that to this level. If it if it's if going it to, being... if it ends up being like you telling a secret word to the bouncer and everything like that, and I kind of like don't want to get this wrong. Um, so I want to go on the Not Scary Farm page, just really quick, if you all can be there. So it says, it says, tell the bouncer the secret password and you'll have the time of your life for as long as it lasts. Okay. Again, is hmm. this going to be an actual place that we can enter, or is that just what they're saying, you know? All I know is that either way, I'm enjoying the speculation of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but sometimes like not knowing what's gonna happen is more fun than actually knowing what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, because if the second you know exactly what's gonna happen, you're like, well, this is what's gonna happen. You've already set it up in your mind and you're just like, oh, okay. But having that, anticipation 
anticipation. <laughs> um, having that anticipation, having that that like, ooh, what's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. You know, like what? Like is it? Is it just? Are they just saying that? You know? Um, are you just going into the maze? Or I don't know. I have no idea. I have no clue. And I'm I'm okay with that because I'm super excited. I am very excited too. So I also want to know if the Goring 20s is going to implement some kind of show like Forsaken Lake did. Because you remember Forsaken Lake had the procession scene. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to know like, are they going to have scenes to play out in the Goring 20s or is it just going to be like more of a free roaming carnival ghost town kind of a scare zone where like, you know, you just element of surprise or if they're going to have like scenes to play out because it seems to me judging by the trailer that this is a very specific thing that is happening mm -hmm. and uh i want to know like are is there going to be scenes that are going to be playing out like maybe like you know people with the signs saying like no 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 and then they all get killed and then they all scatter or you know because i mean that would be something there's two there's two scare zones that have kind of scenes now and that's the hollow with the burning of the wicker man and yes. that whole thing um and then you've got you like you said you have the forsaken lake uh funeral procession um and then everybody else that doesn't have anything so this is this is an opportunity that they could have to to add a little bit more like story into and story it. and flair because i think i think when you really look at knots um it's those backstories and those stories that are really going on within the realms of the mazes and the scare zones mm -hmm. and how they all kind of connect um i.e if you went into infected you looked up and there was a billboard saying you know next episode of paranormal inc watch it blah blah blah, blah you know mm -hmm. so everything everything is kind of coming into this not scary farm universe um the ksfu <coughs> yeah <laughs> I'm not going to be calling it that, just so you guys know. <laughs> uh. But but yeah, so so don't just go to, I mean, people go to Scary Farm to get scared and you see everything, but if you guys are true, true fans of Scary Farm, start doing some digging and investigating of, of different characters that you see around the park. Mm -hmm. um, little Easter eggs here and there. There are tons. Yeah. There are tons. So... It is up to you guys to become detectives and kind of figure that out. Exciting, exciting, yeah. exciting stuff, guys. So we will obviously keep you guys updated with anything else. We're not talking about Halloween Horror Nights because there's really no new announcements. And we both okay. think that they're saving a lot of stuff for Midsummer Scream. I keep calling it that. It's Awaken the Spirits. <laughs> 14th and 15th, guys, at the Pasadena Convention Center. I do believe every uh, day was sold out except for Sunday, um, but I haven't double-checked on that. But if you haven't got tickets, check and see if Sunday is still available because I do believe Universal is going to be there both days. Mm. Um, so that that is something. So, I don't know, Walking Dead. Oh, it. Shh. No. Shh. Shh. Um, also, don't forget, you guys, we are going to be at Awaken the Spirits. Brie will be having a booth, Feral Cat Candles. Make sure to support, you know, local business. And also, come say hi. Um, I'm going to be filming for the my channel, and Brie is going to be kind of hanging out at the booth, and so we will both be there. Um, if we're not at the same time and you want to meet us both, uh, Brie can sh definitely shoot a text over, and I can come say hi. But don't be shy. Come say hi to us. We love yep. meeting you guys. Um, and I don't know, we're just really excited to, like, be there. It's gonna be great. No, yeah, I'm I'm super excited. This is a big, big, big kind of small event, um, but on a scale of like how the excitement level for that, I feel like everybody has. Mm -hmm. um, it is like blown up. Yeah, like out of the water. So this is this is three buildings. Awaken the Spirit is gonna be three buildings plus the auditorium. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. I definitely think so. So thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you think is going on and if you would drink the devil's elixir. Oh, Ooh. I definitely would. Not. Would. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a drop. <laughs> <laughs> Give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't for more spooky content and always be ready. Because you never know where your comps will take you. Bye guys. Bye.